Okay, cool. Hi, magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. My name is Bob Reyes. So, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for taking time uh, with with your busy schedule on a Saturday evening here in the Philippines. So, wherever you are, so this is the Mozilla Philippines community. This is our session for how to contribute to MDN Web Docs. Uh, so, again, let me introduce myself. For those who do not know me, my name is Bob Reyes. I'm one of the Mozilla reps, and I'm based here in the Philippines. I'm also a tech speaker for Mozilla, and when I'm free, I write stuff for Manila Bulletin Tech News. I'm using Firefox since version 1, and let me just give a quick introduction about Mozilla. So many people know Mozilla because of Firefox, but little did they know that Mozilla actually started with Netscape a few decades ago in 1998. So there was a project making the source code of Netscape open source, and that was called the Mozilla Project. And from then on, it evolved into Mozilla.org, the foundation, and what the organization is right now. We are a nonprofit organization and we are also mission driven. What are our mission? First, we want to build a better internet. Second, we want to ensure that the internet will remain as a global public resource that is open and accessible to all. And lastly, we want to have an internet that truly puts people first so that individuals can shape their own experiences and uh, for them to be empowered, safe, and independent online. This is, how, uh, this is our mantra. So we are committed to you, the Firefox and Mozilla products users, your privacy, and the open web. And for us to be true to our mission, we have this product. So we have the browser. We have Firefox Lockwise uh, for identity. If you want to have a secure uh, location, or storage for your uh, username, password, uh, identity online, you may use Firefox Lockwise. And we also have Firefox Monitor. So it's a service wherein it will tell you if your email address has been part of any uh, publicly known breach in the past, okay? So these are some. We also have Firefox for Android and iOS aside from the desktop. So the current version is Firefox 94. If you haven't updated yet, please do. There are cool features, colorful features, okay? Uh, it's also available in Tagalog if you're speaking Tagalog. Uh, and last, we have a service called Firefox Relay. So for those who are looking for a burner email, so it's an email address uh, that is uh, working like a relay email. So it can only accept incoming email email messages and it will forward to your e real email address so that websites will not know what your re real email address is. If you are tired of receiving emails from these websites, all you need to do is to delete that particular relay address in Firefox Relay and you will never receive emails from them anymore. Okay? Why? Because there are websites, the more that you unsubscribe to them, the more that they will send you email messages. So if you hate those kinds of websites, but you really need to subscribe or to try their services, then you may want to use Firefox Relay. We also want to thank our friends. Uh, our friends from Apper.ph is the one hosting our Zoom Pro account. So thanks to Apper.ph for sponsoring Mozilla Philippines community uh, with our Zoom account. How to join the community. So we here in the Philippines, we run as a volunteer community, primarily online these days because uh, we're not allowed to meet face-to-face. -face. We've been here for more than 12 years now. And what's keeping us busy, we are translating for, uh, Mozilla uh, products and services like Firefox and uh, some websites into Tagalog, Cebuano, and Hiligaynon. If you are speaking any of these languages, uh, later, there's a sign up link. Just sign up and then make sure that you click on localization to get you started. We're also advocating free and open source software, online security and privacy through means of social media, online events like this one, participating in lawmaking procedures, and many more. So, we are also building a learning, uh, learning management system with contents related to localization, privacy, web development, and Rust. So everything is run by volunteers uh, from here and abroad. So what do we need? We need people who will use and test our products like Firefox, 
uh, and later MDN, uh, you you will see how how it's done. So we need people to spread the word about free and open source software and online privacy. And we also need people who are willing to be to learn and to be trained in helping other people become web literate. Okay. And generally, just to make sure that people will remain awesome online. How do you do that? Just go to join.mozillaph.org. There's an online form there. Fill it up so that we can get back to you uh, with the necessary information to get you onboarded. We are present on social media via Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Okay. If you want to get in touch with us, ask anything about Mozilla here in the Philippines, about our products, feel free to send an email to info at mozillaphilippines.org or chat with us by chat.mozilla.org. Just uh, search for the Mozilla Philippines room. So it's it's a live chat room, okay? Powered by Matrix. Now, we, let's go, okay? So can I, can I uh, in, in Zoom, I know that there is a function for you to use the reactions. Who among you here had heard or had used MDN web docs before tonight? Can I just see a, some, some, just raise your hands if you were able to use or had tried using MDN web docs before. Anyone? Cool. Okay. So, say, cut word. Sino pa? Okay. Okay. John Paul. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, meron, meron. at least meron present tonight na nakagamit na ng MDN web docs. So, for those who do not know or for even for those who were able to try it before. So this MDN web docs is formally known as MDN only, so or, or the Mozilla uh, Developer Network. Okay. So what it is, it's an evolving learning platform. It's not just any website. It's a learning platform uh, wherein web technologies and software that powers the web, like CSS, HTML, and JavaScript, are basically there so for for reference and for tutorials it has the, the the team who maintains mdn has a mission so their mission is to one provide developers with the information they need to easily build projects on uh on the open web and second it's if it is an open web technology that uses or uh that uses the web okay Mozilla wants wants it to be documented, okay? So that that is part of the entire mission of MDN, aligned to the mission of Mozilla. So MDN Web Docs, as it is known now, okay, is one of the most important web technology resources in the world, okay? So it's it's a some some developers, uh, oh sorry, some developers. Uh, say that this that MDN web docs is the de facto uh, reference when it comes to web technologies. Okay, hindi kami nagsabi nong sila yung mga developers na gumagamit ng MDN. So it's being used by more than 17 million people every single month. Okay, so yung mga nag-search ng code, um, people who are searching for definition of different technological terms, etc. They use MDN. Okay. For their jobs and or uh, to learn new skills, okay. It contains mostly reference materials for looking up information and also contains tutorials and guides for learning. I'll be I'll be sending you a copy of this presentation after, uh, so that you don't need to copy uh the the the, the links, okay. Uh, so these are the shortcuts. So if you want to learn web development, basic etiquette for open source projects, uh, GitHub for absolute beginners, and basically how to go around MDN. So yeah, may mga links pwedeng silang i-explore. Now, what does MDN need to be effective? Now, as I mentioned, it's a primary source of all of web technologies. So we want MDN to be thorough, up to date, and accurate, and to be neutral. Okay. When we say that MDN is uh, thorough, so it needs to contain the information required and not to miss any bit out. Okay. So ganun siya magiging reference. Uh, it's it is so detailed. Okay. It is so detailed that pero siyang going parang encyclopedia of web technologies. 
Second is that we want it to be up to date. The technology being used over the web changes so fast. Okay, how fast? Really fast. Okay, it needs to contain accurate, up to date information which can be trusted. That is the key word there. The which can be trusted. There are lots of information out there, but some of them we cannot trust. Okay, even the ones being used by some professors locally to teach web technologies, they are not updated and they cannot be trusted. So I'm just uh, sometimes I'm I'm amazed to see students being given those uh, references which are Jurassic already. Okay, and we want MDN to be neutral. So MDN is valued for providing a neutral viewport for web development and it is not biased or serving a company agenda. Even if it is spearheaded by Mozilla, it's being used and we have contributors from many companies, okay? It's not just from inside Mozilla. That's why we are having sessions like this so that you know how to contribute to MDN. Why do we need your help, okay? Uh, one, as a non-profit organization, we only have uh, quite a number of people uh, working for the organization, for Mozilla. So we want to make updates every month to update web, plan uh, to update web platform documentation and to keep it up, up to date for the additions to the platform. Okay? As I mentioned, the changes in the technology that is being used uh, over the web these days okay, keeps on changing and it changes so fast okay now minsan in a matter of what days or weeks there's something new okay or there's an update to what is already being done or being used by developers so we receive a constant stream of user submitted bugs to fix and we need your help for us to fix these bugs so there is quite a number or well, there's a lot of work to do and we only have uh, quite a number of people and time is not on our side. So we could really use your help. That's why thank you for attending tonight's session. By helping us and helping the entire community, okay, what will be the benefits for you? Uh, one, you contribute uh, usefully to an open source project that is great, uh, that you can easily uh, put into your CV or resume. okay. But uh, I, a friend of mine said that if you are applying to a tech company, most tech companies actually don't care about the CV or the resume these days. Okay, If you are uh, applying for a developer position, some companies will simply ask, uh, can we see your GitHub account? Okay, It's because everything that you do in the open source realm is logged there. Okay, So if I am a recruiter, I can easily see you that you are contributing to open source and you are doing awesome stuff. So that is one. Uh, by helping us, you will also learn lots of new skills, both in terms of technology and people skills. You will be working with real world stuff. Okay, These are not things that are experimental and it's not public. So everything in MDN is public. So if you will help us make it accurate, make it up to date, and then it's something published under your name. And lastly, you will make new contacts that can help you find answers to your questions. That's the beauty of being an, in an open source uh, environment. You get to speak with engineers, software developers, users, and other kinds of people uh, working on the same project, okay? So how do we get started with MDN Web Docs? One, uh, so yung MDN is a community of developers building resources for a better web, Re regardless of any brand, okay, with it Mozilla or non-Mozilla, okay, be, uh, regardless of any browser, be it Firefox or non-Firefox, and whatever platform it is, okay, for as long as it runs on the web, it should be there in MDN. Anyone can contribute, and each person who does makes us stronger, okay. Together, we can continue to drive innovation. How? On the web by serving the greater good. And contribution, contributing to MDN starts here and starts with you. Up there. Okay. So 
many people when we ask uh they wish to contribute to MDN but they're afraid so right now I'm telling you you should not be afraid why contributing to MDN is easy and safe so even if you make a mistake let's say uh in editing a document don't you worry it can easily be fixed okay nothing is etched in stone it can be fixed any uh any given time uh in just a fly okay so even if you don't know exactly how things should look uh, or if you are not comfortable with grammar, you don't need to worry, okay? So there is a team uh, whose primary job is to check on these things, okay? So not necessarily pagka nag-correct ka or nag-suggest ka, it will be published right away. So there's a checking mechanism and so you don't have to worry. Uh, later, I'll show an example uh, how simple and how awesome it is to contribute to MDN. Someone will be along, uh, along to make you uh to make sure your work is tidy and well written okay so mer qa yan uh, don't you worry about that part we'll take care of it uh what else sorry it's happened there okay so there are four steps to get started with contributing to mdn one you need to have a github account kung wala ka pang github account now is the time to create one it's free uh and it's being used by many companies and many organizations, especially those who are into the open source uh, space. Okay. Second is that you can go to uh, MDN and pick a task to complete. The third one is once you picked up a task, you have to work on that task. And lastly, if you need help, just ask for help. Okay. So one, so you need to create a GitHub account. After logging into your GitHub account, uh, you can go to this particular uh, website, okay? And then um, you, you will be able to see the different tasks available, okay? So, and then decide which of those tasks you think will be, um, you can be more helpful or appealing to you. And then you can pick the task that you like and begin your contribution. Once you decided with that task, fire away. Just uh, edit it. Or if you see, uh, if you are finding something, it is not in MDN, go ahead. You can create that document or reference, okay? Most of the, lately, most of the things that I, I saw in MDN that gets being corrected are grammar, grammatical errors and code examples, okay? And last, if you're not sure, uh, feel free to ask help, okay? Ask help from me, ask help from the community. We have many touch points. So we have a chat room, same uh, platform that we use for Mozilla Philippines. This is the entire, so yung pinakita ko kanina is just chat.mozilla.org. So this is the entire link that will lead you directly to MDN WebDocs uh, room inside uh, Matrix, okay? You can also email mdn-admins at mozilla.org or if you are the uh, not the chatty type and you don't, like emails but you are into the forum stuff okay there is a forum by a discourse at mozilla.org uh so this is the entire link okay so later i'll send i'll send you this so that you will have reference on how to get started with mdn so examples uh let me stop this i oh, know i'll show it first okay so this there this is basically interconnected example so one sample is that a sample of a solved issue. I'm going to share my browser screen. So, hi, Sky G. Sino pa bang bago pasok? Okay. Si Jose. Go, Jose. May question ka? You're raising your hand before we continue. Sir Bob, regarding oh. dun sa... Sir Bob, regarding hmm. dun sa... Uh, Mozilla Philippine Community, nag... Apply ako nung before pandemic. Hindi ko lang alam kung na-approve siya. Tapos yung ibig ko sabihin sa Ibida is yung sinasalihan kong innovation challenge kasi nag, uh, nagtatanong kung may community ako. So since hindi ako sure kung na-approve nga sa Musilia, so hindi ko siya, na, nabablank ko na lang yung, ano, yung community ko dun sa innovation challenge. Ah, okay. So if you join Mozilla... You should have received an email from us. Uh, if not, if you can fill up again, join that mozilla that join that mozilla ph okay, 
fill up that form and we should see it. Kasi if you haven't received an email from us, it may have landed in your spam. Kasi once we receive a, a join request, we acknowledge it right away. So yun, just go to join.mozilla.ph.org. Uh, fill up that form and yeah, we'll, we'll get in touch with you. And with regards to that, if you can tell that you are part of Mozilla Philippines community, yes, feel free to do that. Okay? Walang problem. Salamat, sir, Bob. Okay. Okay, thank you, Bob. So, sino pa may tanong? Before we proceed with the demo. Okay, wala na? Okay, so I'll share my other screen. This is the demo. Sorry. There. So this is a sample. Uh, okay, this is in GitHub. So it's it's under MDN. So this guy, he created a a an issue. Okay, because he said that the the thing is that it should read as two distributing malware. Okay, so ito yung original content. So it was handled by the P the MDN people. So ganito lang kasi simple. So pumunta siya sa sa URL na to, nakita niya na merong uh, incorrect, uh, unhelpful or incomplete information. Okay? So sabi niya kasi nakalagay doon is meron daw term na nakalagay to distributing malware. So it's more of a semantics or grammatical error. Okay? So from distribute malware Sabi niya, it, it should be distributing malware. And it was accepted. Okay? So basically, it was accepted. Uh, ganun ka simple. So if you are browsing through, let's see this document. This is the document. Where is that? Distributing, uh, distribute. Building. Oh. Malware. Okay, malamang na update na. So it's now to malware distribution. So uh, it's as simple as that. So pwede mo yung sabihin, uh, when you go to documents within MDN Web Docs, at the bottom, scroll tayo sa dulo, makikita nyo may link dyan. So edit on GitHub. Okay, so when you click on it, it will open a new tab or a new window. Okay, but you need to fork it first. Okay, so once you have fork it, uh, once you fork, uh, MDN onto your GitHub account, you can edit it. Or if you just want to see the source code of that document, so it will be here. Okay. So you can suggest if you see that there are links that are no longer working, or if there are grammatical errors, syntax, uh, what else? If you want to suggest a better term for everything that is written on MDN, feel free to do that. Okay. Um, not sure where's the yeah here so we we can also change the language so if you're not if you are not well versed in english but you are you uh speaking other languages feel free to change that uh, your mdn to that language and contribute okay wala pa diyan filipino wala tagalog because most of us are speaking english naman and since these are primarily technical terms we'll be using english uh for that purpose if you see any problem, you can also report on GitHub. So this is the, yun nakita nyo kanina ito. Up, up. Okay, so ginamit niya yung template na yun. So kinilik niya yung report a problem with this content on GitHub. Lalabas to. So meron ng template. So just have to fill that one up. So anong problema? So susubing niya MDN URL. What information is incorrect? So sabi lang, grammatical error. Uh, grammatical error on blah 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 okay so whatever and then uh, specific section or headline what do you want to see or what do you suggest for as the correction to that error or typo uh, if this is a source code if this is a code or a demo code did you test this or whatever okay and then once you're done, just click on submit new issue and your issue should be placed under here. So right now, there are something like 585 open issues. If you want to help, you can also browse through the different issues. But diba, some may be technical. What I do is under labels, 
sorry. Under labels, I can either uh, go on the tag, on those tags as 10 minute task, 30 minute task, or where is it? Second page. There's a tag here or label that says, boop, 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 boop. Ah, no, there, good first issue. Okay. So for newcomers, you may want to go and search for those labeled with good first issues. Okay. So may mga issue like uh, match patterns in extension manifest, etc. Okay. So window.open needs an overhaul. Okay. Um, content bug. So space before uh, closing the code tag on many pages. So yun. So sabi niya, etc. So ito, this is WebAssembly. Maraming languages ang included sa uh, MDN. Okay? Not just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So what you can do is if you are using MDN and you encountered a particular error, so one way of contributing and helping the community correct that error is go to the end of that document and then yeah, report the problem right away. Okay? There's a detailed guide on how to contribute, pero it's basically what I said earlier. And last, so ito yung uh, mismong uh, pull request na nangyari, okay, on how it was fixed. So yung based on that suggestion, it was applied eight days ago, okay. So meron ng ano, may update na. So yung document was updated based on a reported problem by one of its users uh, from the community. Ganon kasimple. Walang kahirap-hirap. Okay? Sino, meron kayong tanong, suggestion, or if you want to clarify things? Okay, mahiya. Libre magtanong ngayon. Or meron nakatry na sa inyo before na mag-report sa MDN? ng uh, correction or additional content. Kasi I, I don't want to mention the other websites, pero kasi di ba, if you are a computer science or an IT student in the Philippines, most of the time, the instructors, the teachers, the professors, they will give certain websites to use that. Okay, just follow the instructions here, uh, copy the code, this is how it's done, okay? Bibihira yung mga tao or professors na nagsasabi na go to MDN, check how it's done, etc. And little did they know, dahil lang ha, little did they know that inside MDN, I'll be sharing this one. There. Inside MDN, there's actually a tutorial section. Okay, so it's under reference tutorials, okay. If you want to learn web development, okay, there's an HTML tutorial here. Okay. Uh, meron yan, uh, from beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Meron ding CSS. Uh, okay. So different levels. There's a JavaScript tutorial. Okay. JavaScript is very close to the heart of uh, Mozillians. And how to create extensions. Uh, we are building a, we, we are making a session on how to create extensions or web extensions okay so this is something uh that is also supported by google chrome and opera okay so of course it will run on firefox and edge if that is the case okay so yan so maraming tutorials dyan uh kapag ka may hinanap ka and if it is not there and you know uh how to how, how to do that stuff maybe you can suggest to create that particular document in MDN so that at least we can start uh, building that particular topic of interest. If if it is on the web, it should be there. Okay, ganun yung usapan. Sino ang may tanong? Or am I too fast? Okay, okay, okay. Questions? Paano pagka nag, uh, nag-suggest ka tapos hindi ina-actionan? Uh, Nag-raise ka ng issue tapos matagal na hindi ina-actionan? Uh, let me know. 
let me know. We can ping someone. Or if you want, you can go to Matrix and chat there. Say, just leave a message saying that, hey, I have this issue and it is not uh and it is not being uh action upon by someone or anyone from the organization. Nice, sir. Yep. Go. Yung, so yung MDN sir at saka stack, over, stack overflow is the same lang ba? Or my advantages yung MDN? Ah, okay, so ganito. Um, mm -hmm. Stack overflow is more of a forum. Uh, MDN is more of a reference website. So um, you may use you may use stack overflow. Uh, people also contribute there. But the thing is, diba, what if nobody else vouch for the veracity or for the correctness of the answer posted there? Okay, so mahirap siyang malaman kung totoo ba yun o yung tao lang na yun na uh, minsan, may, there are people na feeling expert and they will say that this is the right thing to do. And we will believe that it is the right thing to do. The advantage of using MDN as a resource or as a reference is that we we QA uh, content. Uh, there it since it is open source, it goes through a process. If someone else sees that it is not uh, the right thing, then pwede niyang i, i call out saying that this is not the proper way of doing it. This is not the proper code. This is not correct. Something to that effect. Number na wala si Kurt. Okay. Naglolo ko rin ba internet niyo this week? Lalo na yung mga naka big two telco. We have questions pa? Questions. Kung naiyak ay magtanong via voice, you may put it on the chat. Oh there. Hi Kurt. Sorry, naputol. Yo, Kirk. Hi, sir. Sorry na. Okay. Nawala uh, yung net saglit. Okay lang, okay lang. Na nakuha mo ba yung sagot or... Hello? Kirk, narinig mo yung sagot? Yes, sir. Uh, pero doon lang ako sa Stack Overflow sa pag-explain mo. Ah, okay, so yun. Um, the advantage of using MDN is that we have a QA system and since it is open source, it went through a process of vouching the correctness and uh, anyone can call out if there is an error, if there is need, if there are needed uh, things to be updated or yeah, corrected basically. So pagka kasi if it is on a forum, if someone says that that is correct, then it is based on his belief that it is correct. Uh, not unless somebody else will say that that is not correct and we have to uh, change it. So yeah, internet problems this week. Maraming, kahit anong ISP yata this week, medyo maraming problema. Okay, Ben Kirk, na gets? Yes, sir. Okay. Cool. Sino pa may so, mas better yung mas better yung MDN dahil mas mas reliable yung answers or yeah uh, uh, coming from me it will be biased kasi syempre I will say that MDN is better but the answer there is anything that is crowdsourced uh, and it is open source anyone can vouch uh, the veracity or the correctness of that uh, anything that is posted there that would be better kasi mm -hmm. if it is just a forum di ba Mag, may maglagay dyan sa, sa forum na tato, that uh, this is the correct code for this particular machine problem. Pagka walang kumontra, then people will think that is that is the correct way of doing it. Sa so, uh, so MDN is that there's a specific uh, P, uh, set of people whose role is to ensure that whatever is suggested or... Uh, whatever is called out to be corrected is actually correct, okay? Nice. 
So, ginawa na siyang web docs. Ah, okay. So, I think, wait ha. I'll just, MDM web docs leadership. I'll just, let me just see. Ah, la, 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 la. Let me just show you this, okay? So this is in in MDN naman. Uh, so there's a page there. This is the Product Advisory Board members, okay? So these are the current members of the MDN Product Advisory Board. And what you will notice, there is someone from Microsoft. There is someone from W3C, okay? There is someone from Spotify. There is, of course, someone from Mozilla, okay? W3C from Igalia. Uh, from Google, okay. Uh, who else? Okay, Google, Microsoft, uh, from Okta, okay, not Okta Research, okay. So, these people, so you will see how diverse the people, uh, who sits on the leadership of MDN right now, okay. So, ganun siya. So, that's why kanina sinabi ko that we don't need to be biased, okay, for as long as it supports web technologies. And it is being used uh, on an open source realm. It should be in M on MBN. So, marami, even some colleagues from different companies uh, outside of Mozilla, they, they use MBN for reference. Kagandaan doon niya. If it is, uh, we, we ensure that it is the up-to-date or the latest reference. Yes, Jose. You have a question? Sir Bob, go. Meron na ba tayo nung ano, nung Mozilla Web Development Roadmap, Roadmap, Roadmap. What do you mean? Roadmap for uh, front end at back end. Roadmap. Um, for Mozilla, wala kaming ganun kasi it it, dep it depends on a specific product. Say, there is a Firefox roadmap. Kasi Mozilla is the organization. For okay. what, so web what, development, what, wala pa. For web, web development? development? Um, no, we don't, we don't have that. Because we, we, don't, we don't dictate things naman eh, when it comes to how web development will uh, go about X number of months or years from now. Okay, thank you, sir, Bob. Mm. For, for, for products, may, may roadmap for products. But for the general web development, no, we don't have something like that. Maybe see, you know, W3C. I think they, they should have something like that. Okay, sino pa? May tanong. Anyone? So yeah, I'll give you... Yes, go. I have a question. Um, I think parang hindi na nagtatap ng search results si MDN, right? Kasi pag uh, mostly nung panahon namin, um, it's one of the top results. Um, same with W3 School and uh, other websites. Pero ngayon, it's not anymore. So um, what can we do to improve that? Ah, okay. It depends kasi on which browser you are using. If you are using uh, uh, browser, that's one. Second is uh, which search engine you are using. Okay, so... Siyempre, di ba? We, we know how this stuff work. Uh, for you to be placed on top of other search results, it's either you pay the search engine or your SEO is very good. And for your SEO to be very good, it has a downside. Uh, most of the time, if your SEO is so good, your functionality is down. Okay? So it, it cannot be both uh, high functionality, high SEO. So uh, the, the, the thing there is if, it is not showing on search engine results. Maybe our SEO is not that good. Okay. Why? Uh, going back. Okay. You have to check with the browser that you're using and plus the search engine. Okay. When, okay. <laughs> yes, Union. So, parang ano lang is, yeah, just go to uh, developer.mozilla.org and then search from there. Pero kasi if you're going to search from elsewhere, syempre, alam naman natin yung lalabas na result dun. Kung yung gusto nilang makita nyo.
Other questions? Last one? Okay, so ganito. Um, we will be announcing uh, by tomorrow or latest by Monday. We're just waiting for some stuff. Uh, we are going to have a uh, an MDN activity on November 27. I'm checking on my calendar. Kaya tumitingin ako doon. Baka magkamula ako nasabi. So this is the last Saturday of the month. We normally have our online meetup for Mozilla Philippines on the last Saturday of the month at this time, around 8 p.m. So instead of having a monthly meetup, we are going to have an MDN activity. It's more of a bug hunting activity sa MDN. And I'm still uh, finalizing on what we can give away uh, for, say, the top three participants that night. Okay, So we will be announcing it uh, latest by Monday on our social media and on website. Okay? So kung wala na kayong tanong, last call before we close tonight. Oh, sir. Sir Bob. Oh, sige, Where go. can we get those merch? Yung t-shirt niya. <laughs> Ay, this one? Wala, ano, ganito. Um, it depends on your contribution to Mozilla. Uh, I'll, 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 you will you will receive an email after this one uh, with with the presentation and uh, the link to the community portal. If you're on the community portal, there will be this event. Just uh, register your attendance that you attended. Okay. So tiniting na yan. Uh, may mga teams tiniting na kung saang area ka ng Mozilla uh, active. And then yeah, depends the team. Sometimes they they send you. This is ano limited edition. <laughs> okay. So wala kami, wala nang binibenta. Dati, if you will donate to Mozilla, uh there's an option there in the donation page for you to be sent a shirt. Uh depends sa amount of donation. Pero ngayon wala eh. Uh yo, depends depends sa team. I think there is an an unofficial MDN gear store. I'm just not sure where that that uh, uh, website is. But it's not official, okay? The search, search for it. And then makita mo daw may mga Firefox stuff. Mostly uh, developer edition, yung kulay blue na Firefox logo. So yun. Wala kami ng... Usually, pinamimigay lang namin siya yung mga ganito. Pero since it is pandemic, it's hard to get stuff from headquarters to be shipped here right now. Okay? Pero once we have yun. And... Make sure that you are active to different aspects of Mozilla. Kasi yun yung basis eh. So it's it's like a, more of a reward. So we, we send people stuff like this. Okay? Pag may nakita kayo sa Shopee sa kasalazada na, Farfax, na may Farfax logo, sabihan niyo ako, <laughs> hindi official yun. Okay. The, the, the use of the logo is governed by copyright. Okay? Wala nang tanong? Going once, twice. Okay. Jose, go. Sir Bob, hmm. meron na bang Mozilla na, ano, Mozilla na ARBR, Augmented Reality, tsaka ano, na software? There is a browser. It's called Firefox VR. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So, pwedeng gamitin na yun, Firefox VR. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm using it on my Oculus Rift. Uh, tapos, if you want to have uh, a taste of VR uh, or a virtual environment on your browser, you may want to try Hubs, Mozilla Hubs, hubs.mozilla.org. Uh, so compatible, like, compatible kaya sa ano, Metaverse or Omniverse? What do you mean Metaverse? Uh, software yun sa, ano, sa high-speed computing. Um, it's compatible with most browsers. Pero what do you mean na uh, pan compatible? Ah, uh, check ko na lang uh, specs. I check ko na lang specs no. Ah, uh, sure. Sige. Punta ko na lang yung. Okay. I'm, I'm not familiar with the metaverse software. Pero if it if it is a it if it is a web browser should be if it is using open web technologies. So the hubs uh hubs is something like this. I'll just be sharing. Mm -hmm. This is Mo this is not part of MDN, but this is Mozilla Hub. So you can create a room and chat with your friends, your family. Uh, sometimes we use this when we have bigger events. So you can have your avatar uh, talk inside the room. You can have displays. 
You can have photos there, videos, even project something like this, okay, etc. So yun. So this is one of our ano, approach to VR and AR. Tapos yun nga, if you are using those headsets, you may want to install a uh, Firefox uh, VR. Okay? Thank you, sir, Bob. Maraming salamat din. Okay? So, kung wala lang tanong, if you have questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, info, I'll leave it here. Info at mozillaphilippines.org Yep. Okay. Or just go to our website, click on contact us. It's there. Uh, or we are also on so social media. Feel free to get in touch with us anytime. Okay. So maraming salamat for taking the time off tonight and attending this session. Uh, please expect an email from me uh, later. So I'll, as promised, I'll be sending you a copy of the slide deck that I've used and I will be stopping the recording.